Playboy Cardi recently dropped his long-awaited sophomore album entitled Whole Lotta Red. His work on the project began roughly two years prior to its release. He announced the album back in 2018 on IG Live, shortly after the release of Die Lit. The road to Whole Lotta Red was a troubled one, as oftentimes when Cardi would be recording songs for the project, the files would leak online before the tracks were even finished. This was likely a major factor in why the release of this project was delayed so many times. The multiple delays led to a cry wolf effect, where fans of Cardi became skeptical as to whether or not the album would even drop at all, which thankfully it did on Christmas Day of 2020. I've seen a lot of mixed reviews for the album, and I think the long anticipation and hype surrounding it is partially to blame. When a project is built up and hyped up for so long, it's nearly impossible for the artist to live up to the expectations of the fans. For me, I found the listen enjoyable when I decided to check it out. Playboy Cardi was among my first and worst tutorials back when I first started making these videos. I figured with the release of his new album, now would be a good time to revisit Cardi and try to make a more accurate tutorial. And as an additional challenge, I'm limiting myself to only use FL Studio stock plugins. Let's get into the cookup. I opened up this preset in Poison and I'm going to lay down some chords in D minor. Here's what I came up with. I added a band pass filter. Here's what the chords sound like now. I opened up another instance of Poison with this preset and I layered the chords. I applied a low cut, a flanger, and some reverb. While the reverb technically isn't a stock plugin native to FL Studio, it is free. Here's what the chords sound like now. I pulled up this preset in flex and I layered the chords once more. Here's what the layers sound like all together. I opened up an ARP in SAR, and I laid down these arpeggiated chords. I added a bandpass filter, some reverb, two gross beat presets, and another EQ. Then I exported the pattern clip and dropped it into an instance of Slicer. Here's what the ARP sounds like now. I opened up this lead sound and I laid down this counter melody. I added a band pass and a frequency splitter. Then I added effects to the mid band. First I added this free crusher plugin, then I applied some sound goodizer. And lastly I added a band pass to cut back on excitation bands from sound goodizer saturation. Here's what the lead sounds like now. I opened up this pad in Biohazard and I laid down these chords. Then I applied a band pass. Here's what the pad sounds like now. And here's what the melodies sound like all together. I laid down a clap. I added some hats.
I made this kick pattern. I laid down an open hat. I added this laser sound. I made this 808 melody. Here's what the drums sound like all together. Then I started changing the master pitch because I wasn't completely satisfied with how the beat sounded. I ended up pitching everything down by four semitones, which would take this beat from D minor to B flat minor. All right, now it's time to write some lyrics. In trying to keep with a Cardi-esque style, I'll be heavily auto-tuning my voice. I'll be trying to deliver my lyrics in a somewhat high-pitched tone. I'll be using Cardi's signature what ad-lib, and I'll be writing repetitive lyrics about lean thoughts and acts of violence. I'll be uploading today's beat to my second channel as well as my BeatStars page. With all of that out of the way, let's see what we've come up with. Yeah. Jamming the beat so we mixing them perfect. I need a watch.